Hello and welcome back to Steel County Extension Service. My name is Ainava and uh, in, in some of these videos I have been talking about uh, insect trapping methods. Remember, uh, if you are a crop producer and uh, you don't monitor insects, uh, it could be difficult for you to tell when you should start treatment. Do not spray insecticides if you don't have to um, because that only kills the beneficial insects and uh, also uh, harms the environment. So uh, the one way to tell insect infestations is a very smart way. Number one is scouting. Uh, besides scouting, you can also use insect pheromone traps. Um, insect pheromone traps, again, pheromones are chemicals that are released naturally by insects to attract the opposite sex. But uh, in this case, we use pheromone synthetic versions for trapping or monitoring these insects. It tells you what insects are active. Although, you have to be careful that the traps cannot tell you how much damage is actually occurring in the crops, but it can tell you uh, how much uh, the population pressure is. So it only uh, the trapping helps in the scouting. And now in this part of the program, I'm going to talk about diamond uh, back moth, which is a major major pest of canola. Uh, all the canola acres have gone down recently, but uh, it's still an important uh, important crop. And uh, here's a picture of diamond back moth. I'm not sure if we can see it very clearly but uh, it's a small moth um, it, it basically when it sits it folds its wings and uh, it has uh, some uh, triangle or diamond shaped markings on the back uh, and it's hard to see in this picture but uh, that's that's what gives the insect its name diamond back moth uh, it's a it's a moth so the feeding stage is caterpillar uh, but because uh, the moths are so mobile, uh, we monitor the flying adults with this trap. And this is called a, a wing trap. It's called wing trap because uh, it looks like it has wings. Uh, it's basically a very open structure. The basic parts is this is the steel frame to hold the entire trap and then the wires to actually install the trap. And uh, if you can see it in the in the video here, inside this, that green structure is the is the actual pheromone. The lure is attached to that green structure. So that's the pheromone. And then this is the this is the top, and then this is the bottom. And you can see the sticky bottom is full of moths. 